What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Time for some real talk, guys. Uh, if y'all don't like the real talk, you need to shut the video off now, all right? Having this thread of discussion on my autonomous uh, semi-truck video. And we need to have some real talk, all right? Hit that subscribe button if you do like the real talk. Like the video. And yeah, leave a comment down below, all right? So, got some motherfuckers telling me that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, all right? Now, I know I sound like a hick. I got a Texas accent. I fucking got half my teeth out of my head. But I'm not a fucking idiot, all right? I know a lot of shit about a lot of shit, all right? A lot more than what you fucking think I know. You come on all the time talking about, oh, I trust you when it comes to truck driving and stuff, but I don't know that you know anything about this or you know anything about that. Motherfucker, you don't know what I know. You don't know how much. I done forgot more shit than you know, all right? I have done a little bit of everything in my fucking life. I ain't just no fucking truck driver. So let's talk about how artificial intelligence works since I don't know nothing about it, all right? Artificial intelligence is not intelligent. That's why it's called artificial intelligence, okay? Artificial intelligence is a series of code, and you can think of it. Hey, here's how you can think of it, okay? It's a system of buckets, and these buckets contain the information that the system needs to solve certain problems. When a certain scenario is encountered, it knows to look at this particular bucket to find the solution for that scenario, okay? So, as, a, as an artificial intelligence system encounters more scenarios, and as it as the programmers, okay, put more things into the buckets and create more buckets, the system appears to be more intelligent because it's prepared to deal with more and more scenarios, okay? And so that's why the fact that Tesla collects all this data from their cars, okay, is improving full self-drive. It's not because the system is getting smarter and the system is learning it's because as this data is collected it goes back to the people who are intelligent and those people look at the the footage and stuff that has uh, thrown up red flags and they identify what the problem was they tell the computer what it should have done in this scenario therefore creating a new scenario and a new bucket with the solution to that scenario, okay? There may be multiple buckets within buckets, so it encounters a certain scenario, but there may be many similar scenarios and outcomes for that scenario, so it identifies it, okay, this is this scenario, so I need to look in this bucket, and then inside of that bucket, there's all kinds of more buckets that'll say, like, if it's this, then you do this. If it's that, then you do that. And as more and more data is collected and more and more buckets are created, the system gets better and better at doing it all on its own because it's been programmed for all of these different scenarios, okay? Now, when you're talking about a vehicle driving, okay, it's one thing to say, here's the pickup point and here's the drop-off point, okay, and you need to go from A to B, okay, and then there's only so many scenarios that it can encounter on the street, and so there's only so many buckets, and once they get enough scenarios and enough buckets archived and, and put into the code, it can pretty much account for any situation in that within those parameters, okay? You, you create a bucket that says if you get too close to the white line on this side, you turn the steering wheel this way and vice versa. And then you just keep building on that and building on that until you've pretty much covered every possible scenario, okay? Now, that is not intelligence. That is accounting for every single thing that could happen and eventually getting to the point to where 
there doesn't have to be any human intervention, okay? But it's not the computer that is intelligent. The intelligence comes from the people that are behind the scenes going through all of this data and telling the computer what it should have done so that next time it does the right thing all by itself without having to have someone intervene, okay? When you're talking about semi-trucks, there are a lot more variables, okay? You, you, I mean, I could go on and on and on. There are so many more variables to driving a semi-truck than there are driving a, a car that it, it it's almost innumerable, okay? Like just a, a couple of situations, okay? In a four-wheeler, in a car, the axles are set. They are a set distance from one another. If you turn the steering wheel a certain degree, it makes the car do a certain thing. On a big truck, the back axles move. They could be further back or further forward, depending on how much the load weighs and how it had to be axled out, okay? So when you turn the steering wheel on a big truck, the trailer doesn't do the same thing all the time. It does different things depending on where the axles are set. There's all kinds of variables, okay? There's variables in a lot of things when it comes to a big truck, okay? Not just that, not just turning radius, okay? There's variables to a lot of things. You know, the fifth wheel moves. There's variables to how tight you can make a turn, how tight you can make a U-turn. These are things that require a human to, uh, to be able to physically see and adapt to these conditions, okay? Now, even if you were able to make the big truck do all of this, which you probably can, I mean, you probably can make it drive itself on a street. It can see the red lines, it can see the lines, it can, you know, potentially calculate for where the axles are set and stuff like that. But that's not what I'm talking about when I'm saying that we won't see self-driving trucks, okay? I'm not talking about the truck can't drive itself. I'm talking about what happens at the end. When you get to that load, there are an infinite number of those variables that would have to be accounted for, okay? I may go to the same fucking shipper a hundred times, and every single time I will have to do something different based on What's going on in the yard that day? I may have to drive a different way around the yard. I may have to go to a different location in the yard. I may have to back into the door differently because some shit's in the way. I, there are an infinite number of variables that can occur even at the big, easy shippers. And what people keep coming up with these pipe dream ass shit about how Oh, there's going to be chargers. Shut the fuck up, GPS. There's going to be chargers at the shippers, and there's going to be this, and they're going to... Yeah, you can sit there all day, and you can say, well, this is how they solve this problem. What about the next problem? This is how they can solve that problem. Okay, what about the next problem? This is how they can solve that problem. You can go through that shit all fucking day, and you'd be right that they could individually solve these problems one by one, by spending a shit ton of money and changing all kinds of fucking infrastructure and trading out all their fucking trailers and their trucks, which is going to cost billions and billions of fucking dollars on the whole. And that the companies are not going to make those kind of huge changes anytime soon, okay? It's not going to happen in five years. And it's probably not going to happen in 10 years. And even if it did, okay? You guys have it in your fucking head that every place is like a big-ass Walmart, okay? And most places are not. Like that video I posted yesterday is a bigger shipper, you know? There are places, not just one or two places, guys. There are places in fucking New Jersey, New York City, all over the fucking country where we're talking about a tiny, tiny shipper that you could barely put a truck in. Okay, and maybe you could get the truck to learn how to back into a small little place like that. Hell, maybe they might be even better than at it than a human is. But the shit that occurs surrounding that is a different story. Like they are not going to program a truck to go out of its lane illegally. They are not going to do that. They are not going to program a truck to illegally park in a bus lane blocking traffic in New York City for three fucking hours 
blocking in fucking cars and every time somebody comes up to their car you got to back up and let them out and then you can pull back forward and do all this shit that requires human intervention human intelligence you cannot replace that with a computer okay you can't and I don't care what the fuck you say and how many times you pretend like you know what the fuck you're talking about I'm telling you with from experience in the field that you cannot train a computer to do all that shit. You can't. Uh, you, computers do not think. They execute commands, okay? And in order to deal with these situations that we deal with on a fucking daily basis, you have to be able to think. You have to be able to solve problems. Not encounter a problem and then somebody creates a bucket and tells it, so next time this is what you do. You have to be able to solve these multiple innumerable fucking problems on your own because you have an actual brain and actual intelligence, okay? And that's just what it is. And I don't give a fuck how much you fucking argue about it and fucking think that you know what you're fucking talking about. You don't. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about if you think a computer can fucking deal with all these different scenarios, okay? I was at a fucking shipper one time where I had to wait like 18 hours to get loaded. There's trucks everywhere along every fucking street that you're allowed to park on. Parked illegally. Parked to where you can't even fucking get between them. It's so fucking bad. And there is no way that a computer is going to know what to do when it comes up on a fucking situation like that. It's just not going to happen, alright? Maybe in, in some futuristic science fiction future in 50 years from now when all of the cars are on the road and trucks are self-driving and they're all talking to each other and connected then maybe we can we can talk about you know the possibility of big trucks being able to be self-driving and really not have a driver until then it is not going to fucking happen okay maybe there might be some isolated cases where Special systems are put into place on certain routes that could be automated, okay? Is the DOT going to allow that to happen? Not anytime soon, okay? But for the most part, like, there could be some certain scenarios where it could be feasible. But for the most part, you are not sending no fucking automatic self-driving truck into fucking New York City or Chicago or New Jersey or Los Angeles or fucking any number of huge fucking places on this fucking, uh, in this country to drive around that fucking city. You're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. What happens when a truck illegally swings out into oncoming traffic, which they're not going to program a truck to do that, but you have to do it. You have to do illegal shit all the fucking time. And the cops understand, you know, the cops know that you have to do that. They're not trying to give you a ticket or nothing. But it still doesn't change the fact that you are they are not going to program a fucking truck to do shit that is illegal. They're not going to program it to swing across the double yellow line all the way and make all these illegal ass fucking moves to make corners. And if they were to do that, they're in New York City or New Jersey, okay, and they were to swing out there and get into a spot and and get screwed and fucking cars just say fucking honking their horns and coming around them and shit. That truck ain't going to know what to do. It's going to be fucking stuck sitting there. And then what? I'm telling you, guys, the, the ones that think that computers are smart and computer, computers can do all any of this shit, like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Real talk.